What's up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be comparing the Soundcore 2 to the JBL Flip 3 but before we get into this week's video we need to look at last week's first comment by Linky and he said good video, keep grinding and don't worry I plan on continuing the grind for a good long time here on my channel. Also if you guys don't know already that I give a shout out for every first comment of all my videos so if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys rush down to the comment section below and try and get first comment but anyways let's get into this week's video. Today I'll be comparing the Soundcore 2 to the JBL Flip 3. I chose to compare these because they are similar in size and they both use passive radiators to give you great bass. So today we'll be seeing if the $40 Soundcore 2 can compete against the $65 Flip 3. So the first difference between these speakers is how many watts each speaker takes. The Flip 3 uses 8 watts per speaker for a total of 16 watts of output power, whereas the Soundcore 2 uses 6 watts per speaker for a total of 12 watts of output power. One place where the Soundcore 2 definitely beats the Flip 3 is in battery capacity. The Soundcore 2 has a 5,200 milliamp hour battery and the Flip 3 has only a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. And it uses more power and max volume so the Flip 3 has a shorter battery life when compared to the Soundcore 2, but it is definitely still plenty enough for me. So both speakers claim to have powerful bass, but is that true? Well, not quite. When I listen to the Soundcore 2, it seems to lack bass, but it still sounds really clear. But when you play music through the JBL Flip 3, you can actually hear some good bass. This is due to the JBL Flip having two passive radiators that are designed better, and the speaker is rated for a higher wattage. So I think the Flip 3 is correctly advertised for having good bass, but not so much for the Soundcore 2. I'll have a a sound test at the end of this video if you guys would like to hear the difference as well. Overall, when it comes to the actual sound coming from these, they both sound just as clear and seem to get close to the same loudness. The only difference is the bass. The Flip 3 really sounds more full. Another difference between these speakers is obviously the design. The Soundcore has a soft touch rubber feel with a metal plate protecting the speakers and it also feels very sturdy and dense for its size. The Flip 3 has the nice fabric enclosure and exposed passive radiators so I would say the Soundcore 2 would probably be less prone to damage than the Flip 3. Another cool thing that the Flip 3 supports that the Soundcore 2 does not is JBL Connect. With the Flip 3 you can connect a bunch of JBL speakers together all at the same time which is not possible for the Soundcore 2. So now that we got most of the big differences out of the way, let's look at some of the similarities. Both of these speakers have really nice big buttons and they both charge by micro USB. Also they both have audio jacks for input if you don't want to use Bluetooth. And another thing is that these speakers are both splash proof so you can take them to the pool but you definitely don't want to submerge them. But rinsing them off or getting splashed won't hurt either of them. The charging time for both of these speakers is about 3 hours, despite the battery size difference as well. Which is pretty impressive for the Soundcore 2 since it has a much larger battery. So is the JBL Flip 3 worth the extra $25? I would say yes, at least coming from a person who loves space. If you're looking for a speaker that just gets loud and sounds clear, then just get the Soundcore 2 and save the money. But if you love bass, get the Flip 3. So here's a quick sound comparison between the Soundcore 2 and the Flip 3. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below. And if you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. And also, if you guys want to buy either of these speakers, I'll have links in the description below and their affiliate links. So if you buy them through that link, it'll benefit my channel. And also, don't forget, I upload every Saturday. So if you guys are interested in tech content, make sure you consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And that'll sum up this week's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Touching the truth.